Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another album review. And this is an album that's never been on vinyl before. It's Gary Moore and Back to the Blues. Now, I've covered uh, this album in the four CD box set, which not that long ago. And I also reviewed separately a different beat, um, which was the album that preceded this. This was a, a tricky time, I feel, for Gary Moore. And again, I'm not a... I'm not a, an A to Z of stuff on Gary Moore. I just feel that it was. And I feel that it was from the music, that he was trying different things, but his audience were pulling him back to the blues, although he was trying to move away from that. And so he came back from this, I think, to kind of channel some stability into his kind of fan base, etc. And there's a kind of sadness to some of the music. and But I also think it's one of his best albums. It certainly features one of my favourite Gary Moore tracks ever, which is The Prophet, where Gary channels Roy Buchanan in places. It's just beautiful. Um, a lot of you want to know what the pressing is like, etc. It's a, ga- it's, a, it's a double album. It's a gatefold sleeve. So if you've got the CD, it's, there's nothing left off it. Um, you've got the gatefold and the tracks and the bonus tracks, which is a single edit uh, and two live tracks are on side four. Um, if I if I actually look at some of the songs, it's probably best best to, isn't it? You've got Enough of the Blues, uh, which is a kind of traditional kind of song. Um, great stuff, really, really good. Um, it's very gritty. Uh, you Upset Me Baby Again is a, is, a, is a typical traditional blues song. And, you know, Gary's playing is absolutely fiery, um, angst-driven and full of feeling. Cold Black Knight has some great funky bass on, etc. It's really good. Stormy Monday. It's a well-known song, isn't it? Um, and Gary plays it as if it's one of his own. It's one of those blues songs that I could never get tired of hearing anyway, and it's just fantastic. Um, and then you've got uh, Ain't Got You, which I think I know more from the Blue Oyster Court Live version. Um, but that's lovely as well. But I think it's side two um, on the vinyl uh, where it really comes together for me. And you've got Picture of the Moon, which is a gentle ballad. It's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. Looking Back, which is more a beat, um, some fiery guitar on that. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, The Prophet. It's just so heartfelt. It's a long instrumental. And it's just amazing. There's a... I mentioned this before. There's a there's a there's a sadness in it. I think Gary was a comes across as a troubled man, and I think a lot of musicians who are so intense are always. It's hard for them to tap into what they feel in their soul or that they're trying to create to make the music that they hear inside them come out via their their fingers and their voice. Uh, and I think this this song, the Prophet, to me, makes this album. Totally essential, really. Um, it just does. Um, and then, how many, how many more lies um, is is a great track, um, a great shuffle, fiery um, guitar solo on that one as well. Drowning in Tears um, is my second favourite song off this album. Absolutely superb. And then you've got all the bonus tracks, um, which are good as well. They, it's interesting. The bonus tracks of VH1 recordings. You remember VH1, the channel, the video channel. And it's interesting that I said this first time on vinyl. I'm still feels weird reading that when I've grown up seeing first time on CD. Um, the pressing is fantastic. Um, it's black vinyl. Um, this version, I don't know if it comes out in coloured vinyl. I, I don't know. There's no cracks or there's no paper dust on it. It it just sounds superb. Um, so I, if you're a Gary Moore fan, and I know many of you are and have asked about this, and I think a lot of Gary Moore fans have wanted this to come out. Whoops. How many times do I do that? Um, what would like this to come out on vinyl? And it has. I think it's well worth it. You've, you've got the full essay that's in the booklet of your CD there. And again, if you've got the CD and you're happy with the CD, you don't need to be troubled by this. But if you do, um, you are collecting Gary Moore vinyl albums or albums on vinyl, then the fact this has come out, then I would jump. I really would. It's. I think it's reasonably priced and it won't hang around. These are short pressings, they really are. 
So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Consider becoming a patron or YouTube member so you see all of my videos before, before they go on general release, plus exclusive material as well. Take care, everybody. Remember, music is the healing of the doctor. And I shall see you very, very soon.